Have you ever needed to pull similar data together from various databases throughout your organization and found it to be tedious and repetitive? It doesn't have to be. Hi, I'm Joshua Morrison with Hitachi Ventara Global Learning. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Pentaho data integration to easily combine similarly structured data from various databases into one output. Let's get started. Here's the scenario we're covering today. Our company stores its sales data in different Postgres databases, one per territory. There's a database for North America, that's the sales database, another for APEC, its name is sales underscore A, and one for EMEA, that database is called sales underscore E. The sales data is structured the same between the databases. Here's the sales order data for the EMEA territory. We want to create a single file that contains all sales data for all territories. Now we could make a database connection and transformation for each territory and then run them all separately, but that's too much work. And if we had more than three territories to deal with, that'd be even more work. Here's a simple and easy alternative. I've created two transformations in one job. The first transformation loads all the database connection information. One row per database we need to pull data from. For simplicity, I've used a data grid step, but this information could come from a file or a table. You can see that I have a separate row for each database. It includes the territory, host name, and database name. The final step is copy rows to result. This step puts the rows into memory so they can be transferred to another transformation via a job entry. There aren't any properties to define for this step. The second transformation reads the data for a given database and appends to a text file. There's a table input step and then a text file output step. The table input step is using a database connection that uses parameters. You can see there is a parameter used for the host name and database name. Since all databases we're reading from use the same port number, username, and password, those properties are hard-coded. In the Transformation Properties dialog, you can see that three parameters have been defined. We're going to use these to provide the values for the database name and host name for all our territories. The text file output step has been configured to append. That's the only part of this step that needed pointed out. Now let's look at the job. The job has two transformation job entries. They run the first transformation and then the second transformation we looked at. If either fail, we write to a log and abort. The key configuration we need to have a closer look at is on the second transformation job entry. Here you can see that the execute every input row property is checked. Remember in the first transformation where we copied the database connection and territory data to the result? Well, this option will execute the configured transformation for each row coming into this job entry via the result set. In this case, three times, once for each territory. The final part is to see how the parameter values for the database connection are getting set. 
On the parameters tab, the copy results to parameters property will copy the results from the previous transformation as parameters on this transformation. The grid here shows the mapping of the stream field name to the parameter. That takes care of all the configuration magic. Let's run this job and see the results. It ran successfully. Now we'll have a look at the output file. Here's the sales data that was output. You can see we have the APAC data here. And if I continue to scroll down, there's the EMEA sales data. And if we continue even further, we'll get to the North American territory. As you can see, we've taken all the pain and repetition out of pulling all our data together from several databases. Not only is it quick and easy to scale, this technique is useful anytime you need to loop through a process a finite amount of times. I hope you've enjoyed learning about this helpful PDI technique. Thank you for watching.